They say knowledge is power, but you need the wisdom to understand what this actually means. Welcome to the Decoding Health Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Urban A. Kiernan. Each week, we will share the stage with renowned experts as we dismantle the black box of knowledge and unravel the complexities of science and its practical applications in our daily life. This show is committed to illuminating topics ranging from personal health and wellness to cutting edge biopharmaceutical advancements and beyond. Let's get started. Okay, Doc, so they've got Viagra for men, but do they have anything for women? That is that is a very interesting question considering the uh, anatomy between males and females is extremely different. Mm-hmm. Um, and so whether it be the uh, Viagra or the Cialis, you know, the Cialis is the once a day, the Viagra is for the immediate, like on demand type need. What those are are actual... Um, vasodilators they just make blood vessels expand it's apt as it actually as an aside um viagra was originally being developed as a heart medicine hmm. and then they realized wow these guys are getting boners <laughs> so the happy side effects <laughs> yeah so they, they repurpose you know it's a, like a, um it's come up on on other episodes talking about science like so much science is like a kind of like eureka accident type moment viagra is one of those things that um is exactly that now again because of the difference between anatomy there are pres- you know there are prescribers that do give viagra and um, Cialis to females, but it's not really the exact same thing. It's, it's, even though it it is a vasodilator, it really isn't tuned into the, the female anatomy. But, um, as we've been going on this journey through biohacking and, and conversations with other people in this space, there's this peptide that's out there called PT-141, and I had never heard of it before, so I kind of dug into it. Um, and lo and behold, um, this is something that has been clinically proven to work in females. And, and was it designed for females? It is. It They've done some studies on males, but the whole clinical purpose and FDA approval that they got was for premenopausal women. And that is unfortunately a time in women's lives in which, you know, sexual desire is just something that is just, it's grossly compromised. It is what it is. But wouldn't everybody be considered premenopausal if they just haven't had menopause yet? Uh, No, it's with, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the the group that they're going after is you're starting to have those hormone dysfunctions, but it's not to the point where you know it, it's almost like perimenopausal, perimenopausal, okay. where you're like you're you're starting to get there, but not full blown, okay. and you just need a little bit of help. And so the, this PT one for one, I got to look at my cheat notes to be honest with you because some of these words are very very confusing. It's a Bromelanotide is the actual name of the molecule, and um, it is actually available um, as a prescription drug. Uh, the brand name is Vilesi, um, and so this is it's a solution that comes in an injector pen for subcutaneous injection, and just like um, Viagra, mm-hmm. it's basically on demand. So wait, is Viagra an uh, injection or is that a pill? I always yeah. thought it was a pill. It is a pill. Okay. But it's on demand. So it's just like, okay. All right. Like, like an me. hour before yeah. you're going to do something. You there know, you go. Pop and go and do it. And with the uh, with the Vil- uh, Vilesi, the, the actual pharmaceutical, it's the same type of thing, but it's an injector pen. Just go and grab your, you know, your. How long does that take to hit? It's between 45 minutes and two hours to get like the full effect. Decoding Health is proud to announce that it has established a partnership with Unicity International, the healthcare intervention company, on a mission to make metabolic health doable and accessible for people everywhere. Through this partnership, each and every one of you Decoding Health podcast viewers will get special access to Unicity products. This includes wholesale pricing along with a money-back guarantee. 
Ready to learn more about how to reclaim your metabolic health? Click on the link below and get introduced to the Feel Great System, a scientifically proven approach to boosting the body's natural GLP-1 production. Stop this GLP-1 receptor agonist craze and give this all-natural approach a try and start your metabolic health recovery now. Okay, and, and how long does that typically last? Um, I, that is probably... So I've never experienced this drug. Um, well, that makes sense. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but at the same token, I don't personally know of anybody who's taken this drug before. Okay. However, it did come up in conversation with some friends of mine who did have questions on this because they knew some people who took it. And, you know, not, not to be too graphic here, basically the... Uh, the net result was the the wife raped the husband multiple times. Oh wow! <laughs> in in, in so one evening. So it's yeah. It was just like the uh, the story that we got was extremely graphic, and it was just like, wow, good for them. You know that that's, <laughs> that, that that's that's very interesting. But it's a subcutaneous <laughs> injection, um, and it is FDA approved for what's known as hypoactive sexual desire disorder. Okay. okay, so, and th this is the a really unique thing about this, considering never even heard about it, is if you are diagnosed with this, depending upon your insurance, it might be zero out of pocket. How much is it if you just want to go buy it? Honestly, I couldn't find that price. Okay. So I looked it up. It's just like they were just promoting zero, you know. Right, right. Get your doctor to. Yeah, boom. It's right just like to let the insurance cover it. And so. Um, again, already kind of talked about Viagra. That acts as like a vasodilator. So it just makes your blood vessels expand and voila, wow, well, I've got some sort of reaction here. This is actually a very, very different process. It's known as a melanocortin receptor agonist. And so this melanocortin is actually, you know, technical term is a G coupled receptor. You, all different cell types have these G coupled receptors that are all throughout your body. This is actually specific for the type four receptor, which is responsible for both food intake and sexual desire. So it, so are you going to eat less and you're going to want to have sex more? Or are you going to want to eat more and have sex more? Um, what, what's the study say? So again, I, I'm, I'm not very versed within the, the MRC um, for the, 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 that specific G coupled receptor. I did uh, quickly, you know, read up that there are mutations that are associated with it that lead to significant weight issues. And so let me dig into that a what little bit. What is a weight issue though? Is it you're getting fat or you're getting too skinny? Or I will, is it both? <laughs> I don't know. I will look that up and I will, I will get the specifics on this. I just I think as a woman, I care more about not being fat than I care about taking this to like want to have sex more. Gotcha. But so if got, the side effect is that you get fat, but you want to have more sex, that's a real bummer for this pharmaceutical. <laughs> so, so with that said, I approached this completely from, guess what? I'm a guy. Yeah. And my... <laughs> hierarchy of things. So I appreciate you, you coming in and, you know, doing this episode with me. Um, but nonetheless, I will approach it also more so from the female side of things. Yeah. And I'll, I'll dig up a little bit more regarding that specific G-coupled receptor. And what does that mean regarding, you know, weight disorders? Is it, you know, um, I think that's what's like annoying is a, a non-doctor is okay, say I were to hear this and then you hear, oh, well, it's causing weight issues. But it's like weight issues can go both directions, Correct. right? So you you want to be more specific. And if you ever see a commercial on TV for a drug, it's like highlight reel. And then it's like, but this will kill you in 15 different ways. And we have to say that because like, you know, yes, every drug could potentially kill you in some way, shape or form. Yes. And then don't get me wrong. This It's not like this doesn't come with a whole a host of side effects all the way from like nausea and appetite um, mm -hmm. issues through headaches, um, lightheadedness, um, racing heart. My question is, is that the lightheadedness and racing heart, is that from actually the drug or is it from the simple fact that you're having sex? I don't know. I know. So <laughs> yeah. we have a lot more, we have a follow-up episode on this one. Yeah, I, I think the females listening are going to be interested in understanding this better. I'd never heard of it before. And I'm sure most people watching have never heard of this before. And it's really interesting that this was brought to my attention and it was brought forward 
by a gentleman just simply because he was like, I want to have an experience like that. <laughs> and he was just like, where can I get some? And I'm just like, dude, I have no idea of what you're talking about. So I kind of jumped into it. And then I- All the men are coming home with prescriptions for their wives. This yeah, is going to be an epidemic of itself. <laughs> so I actually reached out to a, a friend of mine who's actually a prescriber and because he, he was really interested in this too. And I told him, dude, this is this is actually- it's a moneymaker, sir. <laughs> this, is, this is a prescribable drug, you know? And so he was like, I'm, I'm looking on CV right now and I can't find it. And I'm like, let me go and see if this is a little bit more from like a, a specialty boutique type stuff. Okay. Now for the record, because there's this huge interest right now um, around compounding pharmacies and stuff. Oh, I love mine. Okay. For the record, this is not legally available through a compounding pharmacy. I'm proud to be part of the team at PS Studios, the top podcast production studio in the nation. We support creators and businesses just like this one, handling everything from launch to growth. If you want a podcast that actually moves the needle, visit psstudios.co. Just simply because it's an active drug still under patent. Gotcha. So that's just something that you might be asking your compounding pharmacist about. They might have the the, the Vilesi name brand, the actual pens. Okay. That are there, but it's not that like they can turn around and legally compound it because that would be patent infringement and that patent lasts until like 2032. Okay. You know, I looked that up, but yeah, you know, it's a uh, few more years left. Yeah. I, I think it's extremely, well, if you have the appropriate insurance and it's free. For sure. Yeah. I'm, I can't imagine your doctor be like, no, I'm not going to do this. Yeah. Yeah. I, you just have to know what your side effects are potentially going to be. Yeah. I just got to do the hard sell at home. <laughs> And I'm in. <laughs> Figure out your script. <laughs> gotcha. But no, it's, uh, again, I, I'm glad from a female perspective that there is a treatment for this particular indication. Oh, for sure. And could be used potentially for off-label use. I do know that there are studies that are trying to see if there's some sort of value from the male perspective. Can't comment on that, you know, right now, but I'll dig into it a little bit more regarding the, uh, the I white the I can't believe side. they prescribe Viagra to women. Like, that's so weird to me. I thought that was like strictly a guy only drug. No, they they do both. You can, I do believe there's those are even available through certain like mail order like um, tele. Yeah. Televisit. But what's funny is I think that if it was super successful for women, then we would like more women would have known that or heard about that. And I don't feel like I know anybody who would have ever thought that Viagra was not just for like was for both. Oh well, I I think it's just. One of those situations because it's a very, very inexpensive drug and they can make mm -hmm. the legitimate case. Well, at least we're trying. Got it. We're, we're trying to go and do something. Like in reality, does it do anything? I would love to know to a comparison once you have more data on the female designed one, what the uh, side effects of Viagra are for men and what the side effects, the, the most common ones are for women on this one. You know what I mean? So you can kind of stack your side effects. I will get the product inserts for both. Okay, perfect. And we'll just lead it straight, read it off straight from the FDA and manufacturer. This is does this, that does that, and let's uh, let's see how the two compare. But yeah, I'll, I'll get my hands on those, and uh, we'll we'll do that side by side. Fascinating. And then I also want every guy watching to send us their sales pitch for their wife, oh, <laughs> so we can laugh uh, <laughs> and read them on air. <laughs> honestly, it, other other people will learn. <laughs> from this it's like you know you know help, help the brothers out you know it's just like there's hey we're we're all in this together but hey thanks layla for for being absolutely on